coming up in the Ministry of Mayhem this morning. Brace yourself, people. In the Ministry for the first time is those angry beavers. They'll be on at 9.30. Oh, it's <laughs> they made it through pop stars and rivals and then the ministry all morning. The lovely Cleo are performing their lovely new track at 9.40. Did I mention they're lovely, by the way? Show me the money! You want him? Well, we've got him. It's the top notch Tutenstein, and he'll be hitting our screens at 9.55 and 10.15. We've got more music in the lovely form of Emma Bunton. Woo! She'll be on stage at 10.40. I love her. I know you do. Also, the Seabound superstar that is SpongeBob returns again this week at 10.45. And we give you the chance to see the very best bits of I'm a Celebrity Get Me out of here as we round up all the action from this week in the Australian jungle at 1110 and your chance to win a holiday to Australia all courtesy of the Ministry of Mayhem. I tell you what, I'm Michael. And I'm Stephen. And I'm Ollie. And you will be pleased to know our first guests here in the Ministry today have arrived. It's clear, they're just clearing security. Have you done that? You are now entering... Ray's Ministry. You are now entering... Ray's Ministry. Hang on a second, Ray's Ministry? It's not Ray's Ministry, it's uh -huh. the Ministry of Mayhem, isn't it? I know what he's doing. He's obviously trying to chat up the clear girls, isn't he? <laughs> I'm going to have a word with him, come on. So early in the morning as well. What's he The Aquarius. Oh, that's my favourite sign, oh, Aquarius. Good morning, Ray. Morning, Stephen. If you need anything, ladies, raise my man. My man, yeah. Listen, ladies, sometimes he tries to look after guests a bit too much, do you know what I mean? Sorry about that. Go on, you enjoy the ministry. We'll see you in a bit. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Did you do that for? I was in there. The love, mate, Ella Pets. Hey, <laughs> right, listen, you keep your own job and let's on the guests, all right? Yes. Yeah. Who's that? This is my twin brother. He's come to stay with a couple of guys. Twin? This is Dave, Stephen, Stephen, Dave. Well, you're not identical, are you? No. No, I didn't think so. See you later, Ray. Learn Stephen. the script next time. Oh, yeah, same to you, Stephen. <laughs> identical. What a plum. And I heard that as well, all right, and that wasn't in the script. Hey, listen, Norbert and Daggett are here. If you don't know who they are, they're better known as the Agri Beavers, and they're in the ministry. They really are. Enjoy it. Now, I've got to tell you, today's a very special day for two of our ministry workers here at the Ministry of Mayhem. It's Tina and Gina, because it's their birthday. Girls, happy birthday. Aww. Look at this, I've made you cakes and everything. Look, Tina, there's one for you, and there's one for you as well. You just help yourself to a slice whenever you want, OK? Oh, thanks, Michael. Great. Now... Thank, Thank you. you. Right. Um, how would you like to win this prize? It's a CD mixer system, and it could be yours if you manage to qualify for today's What Hurts. But because it's such a good prize, we're not going to make it too easy for you. You've got to answer this question, OK? Johnny Depp, he was nominated for an Oscar this week, but for which film? Now, as usual, I've worked my magic. I've managed to get you an exclusive deleted scene. You'd best start believing in ghosty stories, Missy, cos you're in one. Now give me that black pearl necklace. Oh! Oh! Oh, you, your face. What, what? What is it? You... You've got, like... I'm not peeling again, am I? Jesus, this Caribbean sun, it's a nightmare here. I've tried oiling. I have, but the moisturiser doesn't go very far nowadays, you know, for what you get for your money. I, it's so painful! Painful? You should try wearing a corset, mate! <laughs> ah! Oh, but what have I done? He's nicked my black pearl necklace! Don't worry, darling. I'll give you another one. Right, there you go. Uh, so, if you think you know what film that was, was it A, Pirates of the Caribbean, B, Pirates of Penzance, or C, Charlotte Church? Mm. When you know, just get in touch with us. You can give us a call on this telephone number, ladies. Phone us on... <laughs> Or if you've got a mobile, uh, you can text us. It's quick, it's quick. It'll cost you 25 pages. Just text your answer and your name to this number. Eight, three thousand. Kate was a great idea. Uh, or if your computer's on, send us an email. This is the address. LOM at ITV.com. And you could be winning that fantastic prize and possibly more. Good luck with that. Right, come on, give us a slice of cake. Now, one of the great things that happens if you get into... Oh, H and a don't cross the stairs. <laughs> 
It's unlucky for some. Yes. Oh, oh, Ray, you dropped one of your pens there. I can see it. Look. Not one of the pens. Where? 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 Oh, oh. I love it. No, no. As I was saying, um, if you get in touch with us and you get a correct answer here on the Ministry of Mayhem today, your name will be fed into the Ministry of Mayhem cat. He'll cough up a furball. If it's got your name on it, then you could be winning... Oh, hello. Oh, nice kitty. If you could be winning a grand prize, and it's called a grand prize for a very good reason. Oh, nice. It certainly is, because it's £1,000 worth of goodies, including a junior laptop, a stereo system, a games console with SpongeBob game, and a personal CD and MP3 player. And for all that snow out there, your very own snowboard, binding, and boots. All of that and much, much more could be yours, courtesy of the Ministry of Mayhem. I tell you what, that is a cracking selection of prizes. And I cannot believe how calm the cat's been this week. I think she must have run out of catnip. Hello! <laughs> okay, um, remember to watch the Ministry all morning long because you could be winning that grand prizes. We could be winning you. Uh, Michael, give. But now, Ministry workers, put down your tools. Put them down. Oh, yeah. That's it. A bit more gently next time, yeah? That looks expensive as well. Pin back your ears, because it's time... Oh, fellas, move Kelly out of the way. Come on. That's it. You see, I can see clear now. Lorraine has gone. <laughs> I told you I'd get it in. I love that joke. I really do. <laughs> I don't get it. We're stuck in the middle. It's the fabulous and the very lovely Clear. I've got to say... Beautiful. It's lovely. Nice one, ladies. Nice. Actually, you've got your work cut out. You've got to pick two of you to play Cakey Skate with Stephen Newby later on. Absolutely. It's going to be a joy. And this is still to come in the ministry this morning. Let's have a look. Will Cleo find the man of her dreams? Find out in today's Tutenstein. Then the lovely Emma Bunton is going to be leaving that taxi and joining us live in the ministry. We'll be able to give you all of the latest on Celebrity Get Me Out of It and your chance to have your very own jungle experience. Very nice indeed. Holiday to Australia. I tell you what, Emma Bunton, I'm looking forward to that, you know. I know. She's lovely. She is lovely. Yeah, I quite like her, you know. Well, she likes me more than you. I don't think she does, does she? That's fact. I don't think she does. <laughs> Emma, I'm coming! What are you doing? Oh, Alyssa, we'll see you in a second. I'll see you in a minute. Emma! She's mine! Welcome back to the Ministry of Mayhem. Very excited because Emma Bunton is going to be performing on the stage behind me right here very soon. She's here now. What, what do you mean? Emma Bunton, hello. Oh, oh, hello. You're so right. <laughs> what did you I do? No, 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 I can't do that. I thought you liked her. I thought you liked her. No, I do like her, but the thing is, apparently, look, right. I've got a Ministry file out. What does it say? What does it say? What does it, it says hmm. she loves strong, gentle types. Ah. And yeah. here's the best bit. Her favourite boy's name is Michael. What? It's in the back! <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> OK. Shh, watch this, watch this. Um, I, I just wanted to say that I, uh, I, I bought all your singles, and I, you were my favourite in the Spice Girls as well. I loved you so much because you had the bunches <laughs> and like that. Um, I, I just wondered, would you marry me? I will, if I can wear pink. <laughs> no! Oh, Emma's all mine now. Nicely done, right? <laughs> this is <laughs> right. <laughs> Anyway, back to our fellow. Give me five. Yeah, all the best, Ray. Now, uh, still to come in the ministry, don't forget we've got the second part of Tutenstein, plus, oh, it's the first part, of course, we haven't seen it yet, and Celebrity Get Me Out of Here, all the latest updates and your chance to go to Australia, only in the ministry, mate. Oh, come on, Ray. We've had the joke. Take the wig off, mate. Come on. Excuse me? Oh, Emma. I, I thought you were Ray. Ray? Who's Ray? Head of security. Head of... <gasps> You're so rude. Oh, oh Emma. Oh, right now, then. Yes, yeah. yes. Nice. Oh, right, then. Right, I'll tell it's you what. time for... That's my fish. Actually, can I have a go with that? If you want to. Oh, go on, then. Here we go. Now it's time for... That's my fish. No, I don't like That's it. That's my fish. No, stop now. It's not, That's my fish. It's not funny. I think we'll just let you do it, shall we? You did it so well, though. <laughs> yeah, right. Now then, let me tell you, fish are just flying into the ministry. We've got so many of them. In fact, right now, I think we probably have more fish than agents. I think you could be right. There's a whole lot right. of fish. You love getting in touch, and we've had some great catches. I can tell you, this first one here comes from Connor Cook. And now, this Connor is three years old. Cute kind of cook to start off with, but Michael, hmm. we're not interested in that. We're interested in whether he has a tiddler or a monster in his hand. What do you think? I always say clues are in the picture. Okay, right. now he's just a little lad. Little lad. He's not got baby arms. He's got to be a tiddler. You're gonna go tiddler. Tiddler, yeah. Guys at home, what do you reckon, tiddler or monster? Should we find out? I think we should. So let's have a look. Kind of cook. Do you have a tiddler? Whoa! Oh my! 
I was tricked. You were tricked. That is a Except monster. Let me tell you that it's a common carp weighing 12 pounds, and he caught it in Bushy Park in Kingston on a floater. Really? Yes. Okay. I think it's your turn now. Should we do one for you? Connor Cook, you are officially an agent of mayhem. There well you done. go, stamped. Well done. Right, now, I'm going to surprise you. You're going to yeah. like this one. OK, take a look at this girl. It's Nicola Shear. Uh, I've got to say, Nicola, happy birthday to you. It's her birthday today. Happy birthday, and here she is, the birthday girl herself, 12 years old. Is she holding a tiddler or is she holding a monster? I think... Come on now. I think that she's probably holding a tiddler. And the reason I say this is because she looks like she's in a field <laughs> and nowhere near a lake. You think? Yeah. OK, what about you guys at home? Any ideas? Tiddler monster? OK, let's take a look. Nicola, what do you have in your hands? <gasps> How wrong I was! You see, it is, it is definitely a massive fish. I can tell you, right, it's a ten and a half pound common carp, not just any carp, it's common. Uh, and well, it's fishing is our hobby as well, it says here. Thank you very much for that. Good. And I've got to say, Nicola, you are officially an agent of mayhem. There you go, look at that. Well done, Nicola. Guys, get your fish pictures coming in because you could be part of... That's my fish. Okay, I'm not going to do that anymore. You're I can't do it as well as you, can I? Guys, whatever happens, get in touch and here is the address that you need. It is the Ministry of Mayhem, P.O. Box 981 ME14 5XE. Ah, oh, listen, Doc, thanks for patching me up. I'll tell you what, that Emma Bunt, she just got a swing on her, oh, she? has got such big muscles, Stephen. Absolutely. Anyway, how do I look? Oh, pretty stupid. You know, you're so lanky and your nose is too small. And so shoes with that outfit, what are you thinking? These shoes are Holly's 20 hours of man work, then. The Holly's shoes, oh, well, that's funny because... I'm wearing her pants. Hey, <laughs> I've got a bra. Is that a match? Oh, yeah, hey. exactly. Yeah, Absolutely. Right. right, now, it's the first part of Tootenstein, and Cleo could be in love. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely. Tootenstein for you in just a moment. You certainly are. And this is still to come in the ministry this morning. Let's have a look. We've got the lovely Emma Bunton, of course, performing her brand new single. Also, you could win a trip to Australia and we'll have all the updates on I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of It. Look at that. You could be going there. Beautiful. Can you believe that? We are going to give you the chance to take your family of four away to Australia. Can I have a... Ooh! Ooh. Isn't it? We've also been joined by some uh, junior agents of the ministry. How are you this morning? You're right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. So he's a big side. Well, listen, we've got a little game for you. Like this, all right. Uh, all you need to do is just just put your hands in the air, okay? Put your hands in the air. Hands Good in the air. Stuff. All right. And now, just enjoy. Okay. We'll see you in a sec. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> see you in a minute. See you in a minute. Welcome back to the Ministry of Mayhem. Now, in a few minutes' time, we're going to have part two of Tootin' Sign. But first, what I thought we'd do is go into the Tootin' Shrine and have a look at some of your pictures this week. So follow me in here. Hi, Billy. Holly, is that you? Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to be long? Because I need to show these pictures. Just one more bit. Oh, this, this is ridiculous. Look, I'm just coming in. You're just going to have to... I'm sorry. Yeah, oh, I see. Just I thought you were doing a great big... Perhaps we should show the pictures. Yeah, it's a good idea. <laughs> OK, take a look. Thank you. Shove over. Yankee baby. Okay. Show me the mummy! Lovely. Uh, take a look at this. I've got to say a massive thank you to Rhiannon Tapsell, who's 11 years old from Cambridge, and she has sent in this picture of Tutenstein. I've got to say, I love the attention to detail. Check out the headpiece and everything. Very nice. Rhiannon, thank you. You are officially an agent of the ministry. Let's pop you on the wall. Well done. It's very good, Rhiannon. Now, Lou Roll mummification. It is obviously taking over in a big way. I've cottoned <laughs> on to it already. Um, but we've got some more here. I showed you the dog, which was mummified last week. Take a look at this. This is Martin Miller from Kent. This is him, and he's Lou Roll mummified <laughs> himself in a car park, I think. I'd like to see the faces of all the drivers. It's very nice. Thank yeah. you for that. <laughs> Thank you very much. This is going to go on the wall. If you've got any of these you want to send in, you can do. Here's the address that you need. It's just over there. It is, of course, the Ministry of Mayhem, PO Box 981, ME14 5X. It's as simple as that, and you could be an agent of mayhem here at the Ministry. Uh, now that it's time for the second part of Tutenstein, can Cleo get her man? Let's find out. Show me the mummy! Ooh, I think Cleo's love 
isn't she? Very nice too. <laughs> There'll be more Tootenstein next week. As well as that, my parents are aliens are making their first appearance here in the ministry. Still to come, we've got Emma Bunter performing her new single and also Spongebob. Absolutely, but what about this? We are in the ministry jungle for one simple reason. We are going to be the only people that keep you up to date with all of the celebrity get me out of here moments. There's some great ones, isn't there? It's been fantastic. That's on its way. And an incredible competition where you can take a family of four away to Australia so you can have your very own jungle experience. It's amazing. Coming up later on. Now, that most people on shows like this receive fan mail, but we receive bums, mm. which is nice, and I guess we kind of did ask for it in the form of elbow bums. You've been sending in loads of these, and they do make me laugh every single time. This is my favourite one of the week. This comes from Crazy Aiden in Liverpool. Crazy Aiden, thank you very much. He emailed this picture into us, so he's technical to a technical bum. There we are. I think we could say. <laughs> he's very crazy. Good. They're very easy to do. If you want to do it, all you need to do is take a picture of this bit of your elbow like that and then send it in to us. Nicely done. You are now an official agent of the ministry. Welcome. Welcome. Also, you're going to get loads of uh, ministry stuff. Look, there's the mouse mat. He's obviously got a computer if he's emailed yeah, it in exactly. there. It's for you. Also, we've got the Ministry of Mayhem bag. That's for you as well. Also, we've got uh, the Ministry of Mayhem torch. That's for you. And this is very cool. Look, it's a pen. It's a pen that writes. OK, pen that writes. Looks like a normal pen. But, of course, if you're an agent, you need a special pen. So this one points at stuff. It's like the best that. pen in the world. Look at that. Lovely, lovely. Look at that. That's for you as well. And if that's not enough, just for sending in your elbow bum, you also get a very nice Ministry of Mayhem watch. There we go. That's all on its way to you. Someone else who's getting all of this stuff is... What's his name? It's Josh Mundy, who is 10 years old. Josh, thank you very much indeed. In Ipswich, good morning to you, my man. Morning, Look, Josh. he's put such detail into this picture. We've had loads sent in. This is going to go on my fridge, and I'll show you the picture of that in a second. Look, he's got the Ministry of Mayhem stuff up there. Also, so, the building, yeah. which is done in 3D. I love the arms. Yeah, it's cool. Also, there's the cat. Look, there we are. There's the cat with the cat inside. <laughs> and... I didn't just pick it for this, did I? We no. all like this one. Um, look, there's a picture of me, look, with very smart Which helps hair. when you're choosing the picture to follow. Well, it, 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 get Stephen in it and it'll be on his fridge. It's a bonus. Yes, it's been on my fridge all week. And thank you very much for everyone that sent them in. I did take a picture of it. There it is on my fridge. I don't know whose hands they are. I was about to say, <laughs> they're not yours, are they? They are mine, they are mine. But the thing is, all I was doing was this. I was going, look, there's Josh's picture. Josh, you are now an official agent of the Ministry. Welcome. Welcome. Ministry stuff on its way to you. Now then, uh, you said you were going to go and get your hair cut, is that right? Well, yes, yeah, see, Ministry of Hairs, fifth floor, I'm going to go and get my hair done just like Josh has done in the picture, nice right, and smart. OK, not before you play What Hurts, though, yeah? What, with the new rules? Yeah. Don't think so. What hurts? Whatever. <laughs> Got away with that one. Hey, now, if you'd like to send anything in, send them in to this address. Here it is. Cheers, fellas. If you've got something you want to send to us at the Ministry of Mayhem, here's the address. Ministry of Mayhem, PO Box 981, ME14 5XE. Or you can email us on mom at itv.com. Now it is time to play my favourite game here in the Ministry today. It is, of course, What Hurts. <laughs> the question which was which film did um johnny depp um, receive an oscar for he's been nominated for an oscar which film was it the answer was of course pirates of the caribbean and ladies do we have two callers on the line that got it right i think we do we've on got line one we've got tanika from birmingham who we got on the line tanika tanika hi tanika how are you doing today fine thank you good listen welcome to the ministry we're going to try and win you some lovely prizes today okay so you stick on the line and we're going to meet your contender OK, who have we got on the next line? On line two, we've got Amy from Nuneaton. Hey, Amy, how are you doing? Hey, Amy, are you there? Amy! Oh, Amy is gone. Well, listen, Amy, you stay on the line, you sit there, because we are going to play for you on behalf of you today, OK? So, Amy, if you're watching, we're going to try and win you some prizes. Now then, we spoke to Amy earlier on. She said that she wanted to play with Stephen. <laughs> OK. <laughs> nice one, Amy. <laughs> Which means, Tanika, you're playing with Michael today. Is that OK? Tanika, are you going to be playing with Michael today? Tanika, hello. It's live right, TV, baby! <laughs> well, then, Stephen, you go and take a seat over there. You're playing for Amy. You are playing for Tanika, so okay. here we go. The ch rules change ever so slightly this week because you boys are going to be answering the questions. You get 60 seconds to answer as many questions as you possibly can. For every question that you get right, you receive a power point. Power points translate into prizes. The person with the most power points will receive the prize. This is the prize that is up for grabs today. It's a CD mixer. It is a very Whoa! nice prize. 
indeed. That could be coming to one of you. But I have to warn you that if you don't get the questions right, then you won't get a PowerPoint, and these guys will receive a nasty shock, which will take up precious time. OK, so here we go. Are we ready? Let's play What Hurts. <laughs> OK, then, Amy, we're going to start with you, first of all. You're not on the line. You are sitting watching at home. Stephen, you're playing on behalf of Amy. OK. So, 60 seconds on the clock. Let's get as many of these questions right, please, Stephen. Here we go. How many celebrities are appearing in I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here? There's ten. Correct. Which film was nominated for 11 Oscars this week? Oh, um, uh, Finding Nemo. No! Oh, not oh, the oh, 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 name of the former Spice Girl that will be performing on the show later today? The lovely Emma Bunt. Correct. What name does David Beckham wear when he... What number does David Beckham wear when he plays for England? Oh, number seven. Correct. Which football team plays their home games at Highbury? Highbury. Oh, um... Oh, no. How embarrassing. Huh, you're um, taking I don't time. know. Go on. Ah! It was awesome. What is the capital of France? Uh, Paris. Correct. What is the name of Homer Simpson's wife in The Simpsons? Oh, Marge. Correct. What is the name of the school Harry Potter is in? in... Oh, it's Hogwarts. Correct. <laughs> Who plays Rachel Green in Friends? Rachel Green. Oh, uh, Jennifer Aniston. Correct. What subject would you be studying at school if you were learning trigonometry? Trigonom maths. Correct. What is the world's longest river? <laughs> Uh, longest river, uh, River Nile. Yes, correct. How many rings are there in the Olympic symbol? Yes, five. Correct. Yes. Oh, come on. Thank you. Well, Amy, if you're watching at home, you have got to be happy with that. You've got ten. Now, Tanika, are you there, my darling? Yeah. Listen, he did very well. He got ten power points. Do you think you can get more than that? I try. Okay, you can try. Do your hardest. You've got sixty seconds <laughs> on the clock. Your time starts. Now, who are the presenters of I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here? Anton Death. Correct. Which pop star is married to Kerry from I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here? Come on, Tanika. Come on, Tanika. Oh, Michael, I'm sorry. That means you get that. <laughs> who runs the Quickie Mart in The Simpsons? Come on, Who runs the Quickie Mart in The Simpsons? Silly word. I can't hear you. Apu, you're correct. How many letters are there in the alphabet? How many letters in the alphabet? That's How many Come letters? That's You're going to pass, Michael? Yes, uh, it's 26. 26, correct. How many hours in a day? 24. 24, correct. What does a caterpillar change into? What does a caterpillar? Yes, correct. How many colours are there in the rainbow? Five. Five. What animal does a tadpole turn into? Frog. A frog, correct. Name the five senses. Oh, that is it. Your time is up. Listen, you did very well. You got six points, which means you don't win the CD mixing system. We are going to send you some ministry stuff, and you're officially a ministry agent. OK, so listen, well done, you. Thank you very much for calling, OK? Everyone Take care. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Now then, Amy, get very excited. If you're sitting at home, you have just won the CD mixer, OK? So that is already in the bag. But have a look at this prize, which you could possibly be walking away with. It's a Mission Impossible game with games console, and you're also going to get a digital camera in there as well. Now. The thing is, Amy, you're not on the line, so I'm really sorry. We're going to have to throw this to Stephen. No. He's representing you in the What Hurts seats. You could win both if you're prepared to gamble. This is the deal. I've got a question. If you get the question right... Amy! Oh, my goodness, this is just so tense. Amy, you are on the line, aren't you? Amy. Amy, are you there? Please tell me you're there. Hello. OK, she's not there. She nearly was there. Amy! <laughs> Amy, are you there? Yes. Hey! Amy! Hey! 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 Amy, you've won the CD mixing sister. You could be winning that digital camera and games console and game. Are you going to gamble? Yeah. Yes! Yes! Yeah! You could have asked me as well. OK, listen, I have got a question in front of me. I know what this is about. I can tell you it's about sport. OK? You now have to pick which of the two boys, Michael or Stephen, you want to answer this question for you. If they get it right, you'll win the lot. If they get it wrong, you walk away with nothing. Nada, nothing. OK, Amy? Who's it yeah. going to be? Stephen or Michael? Stephen. It's going to be Stephen. Oh. Okay. Stephen, how's your sport Stephen, knowledge? I've done well for you so far, haven't I, Amy? Yeah, you know I mean? very well. It's true. Okay, okay, listen. Stephen, here we go. Amy, this is for you, OK? True or false? 
This year's Olympic Games is being held in India. Oh, no. Amy, I so hope I get it right. False. Amy? He's correct! Yes! You're playing we'll be playing more what hurts and next week but still to come today emma bunter's gonna be performing her new single and it's great not only that spongebob squarepants is gonna be here too and don't forget the update on everything that's going on in celebrity get me out of it and your chance to take your family away to australia so you can have your very own jungle experience only here in the ministry of mayhem that is totally fact it certainly is and he'll be back too we'll see you in a minute bye <laughs> <laughs> the Ministry of Mayhem. Still to come, we've got Cakey Skate and a cool spelling smackdown and your opportunity to get a fantastic rainforest holiday to Australia. First, though, she's here live in the Ministry of Mayhem. Go wild, singing her new single, I'll Be There. It's Emma Bunton! The lovely, the very lovely Emma Bunton. Thank you very much, indeed, Emma. She's a beauty. She certainly is. Well, listen, stick around. Loads more coming up here in the Ministry. Don't forget your chance to go to Australia. All the celebrity updates and Keggy Skate is going to be a beauty this week, I promise you. But right now, it's something that everyone loves. We love a bit of SpongeBob, do we not? Yeah. I know you like it too. Here he is. Still to come on the Ministry of Mayhem, those lovely clear girls. Oh, we'll lovely. Making... <laughs> Stephen, we'll be playing cakey skate with one another. We'll be doing all of that right here in the Ministry of Mayhem in just a moment. Don't go away. Ministry of Mayhem still to come. We've got Cakey Skate, but first, uh, we're here in the lab. So, uh, Doctor, how's the world of science? <laughs> Doctor, how's the world of science? Is here in the ministry. You know, here and I go way back. We were at university together. We invented the whoopee cushion. Really? No, I'm spoofing you off. Do I look like a guy who's ever made whoopee? Actually, <laughs> now you come to mention it. No, you don't. Uh, so, what have you got for us this week? Come on, uh, what have you got? Well, after the success of my experiences with strengths last week, this week, I'm spending most of my time alone in the lab with the chicken. With the what? With the chicken. No, no, I don't get it. What? The chicken! <laughs> you mean chicken? Yeah! What do you think I say? Hippopotamus? I will speak very slowly for you. <laughs> right. Now, the chicken, like Holly Willoughby, is a fascinating bird with scaly little <laughs> legs and little sharp claws. <laughs> Yeah? yeah? And like Holly, you know we sometimes hypnotise her. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. It is also possible to hypnotise the chicken. Now, you see, now you just spoofing me off again, aren't you? No diggity, it is fact. <laughs> we can hypnotise the chicken, and to prove, I'm going to enlist the help of my glamorous and beautiful assistant, oh, Emma Bunyan. It's Bunton. Whatever, it's your language. Come on, it's Emma Bunton! Hi! Hi. 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 Emma, Doctor, Doctor Emma. Hi. Emma, you've been studying. That is wonderful. Congratulations. Uh, <laughs> now, Emma, we need to show together the boy how we can hypnotize a chicken, okay? Yes. Wait one moment. I will get my little. Uh, oh, I'm worried about this. Don't worry about him. Chicken out of the box. Come on, baby. Here we go. Ooh. Come on. Look at the size of that. <laughs> Come on, Victoria. There we are, Victoria. You sit together. There we are, Victoria. Oh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Why, why is she called Victoria? Well, she's an ugly bird with exquisite plumage. Oh, no, nice. that's lovely. Yes. Uh, have you ever well, handled a chicken before? No, I haven't. No, no. Michael, you handled it. Oh, okay. Yeah, good idea. Hold her there. Hold her there. Not oh, too I, tight. No, no. Not too tight. You don't want to choke the chicken. Now, push her head down. Okay. Now, Emma, you take the chalk okay. and very slowly you are drawing a line from her beak outwards. There we go. Slowly, slowly, straight out that way. That's it. She's going into a deep slumber, almost. She's in almost a meditative state. Okay, now remove the shock. Take away the hands. Is she in the touch? Oh. <laughs> she did it earlier. Did it Should we do it quick? Let's do it again, very quickly. Okay. Come on, come on. This is going to work. Come on now. Good girl. Come on, come on, on Victoria, don't struggle. Good girl. Come on, Victoria. No. There we go. There we go. There we go. Shh. Look. There we go. There we go. Take the chalk 
survey. She is hypnotized. You see, it is fact. Yeah. It is totally fact. She can hypnotize the chicken. Wake her up. Wake her, her up. Move. Wake her up. Come on, Vicky. Good girl. Oh, there we go. It worked in the end. Uh, well, Emma, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just go and prepare so for your sink. I, I, I will, I will, I will. Any time you like, my dear. And if you've got an experiment that you'd like the doctor to do for you, then all you need to do is get in touch. Here's the address. It is the doctor. That is P.O. Box uh, 981 ME14. 5XE. Yeah. <laughs> no, Doctor, I was talking to Stephen a little bit okay, later no, on. No, sometimes the Stephen, after the experience, he does a little funny with yeah, me. I've got a joke for yeah. you. Go like, okay, <laughs> Doctor walks into surgery. He goes, Doctor, Doctor, I've swallowed a bone. Are you yeah. choking? <laughs> no, I'm being serious. <laughs> this is a joke. Do I don't get it. Go on now, I have work to do. Yeah. He's absolutely even tells me this. Sorry about that. Okay, now, everyone, are we ready for cakey skates? <laughs> See what, I hope you're ready for it as well. It is time for the show they're all talking about. It is Cakey Skate. Here it is. <laughs> okay, let me quickly explain. It is Cakey Skate. The idea is we've got celebrities. They're going to try and catapult cakes up a wall. The one that gets the highest is the biggest start in the ministry this morning. Quite simple. Now, for that, we need the cakes. Of course, we've got Holly with her lovely trolley of cakes. <laughs> oh, oh. Right. Every week you do something and that is out of order. Didn't plan right. that, Look, actually. That's no shot. That wasn't meant to happen. Look at the state. Anyway, we've also got, of course, the skateboards. Yeah, the skateboards are here. We've got small, medium and large. And we need the wall, the wall of death by chocolate. That's here. There it is. Of course, it's extended. Last week, Sam did so well. He got it nearly four metres and he was over the moon. But will our celebrities this week do any better? So only one way to find out. Let's meet them. It is Lindsay and Woo! Emma from Clear. Oh, Let's move on. OK, girls, take your positions over there. Thank you very much indeed. Right. The question is, who's going to get it the highest? Will it be Lindsay? Will it be Emma? Holly is going to help them out by advising them on what cakes they should have. First up, Emma. OK, good luck to you. Which one should she have? Emma. Right. Right. I'm thinking new single, stuck in the middle. I'm thinking this cake's right here. Uh, it's a sponge cake and it's got jam inside it, which oh, is like stuck jam. in the middle. I can see where you're going now. Hey. Should she have that cake, yes or no? Okay, take it off the plate. Oh, That's girl. it. Take it oh. off. Good girl. Right. right. Which one do you want? What skateboard? Yeah, Small, medium, or large? Um, middle one, I think. Middle one. Okay, medium size. Okay, it's a very popular choice. That one. Oh. Okay, do it in three seconds. Can we have a big O? Oh. Here we go. Oh. Will it be a high O? Oh. Will it be a high O? Oh. 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 Three, two, one, go! Oh, oh. 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 no! I'm wearing these high boots, you see. Oh, oh. Well, you knew you were playing it, love. All oh. the best excuses, yeah, excuses. Oh. That's yeah, where you stay. Zero points. Right. Now, Lindsay, you're up next. Good luck to you. OK. OK, which cake do you think Holly should have first? Lindsay. Lindsay. Oh. Lindsay, oh. I'll give you some advice. Have a look yes, at this, OK? Please. You are Lindsay Brown. Yeah. So I'm thinking big brown, squidgy, chocolate brown cake. That one works, yeah. OK, but hang on. Hang on, you might want a different should one. Should she have that one, yes or no? <laughs> OK, there she is. But will she get it? Uh, chances are, six to four, she will. Will she get it higher or lower than <laughs> Emma? Higher or lower? If you don't, um, I guarantee all of these cakes will go in your face, all right? <laughs> Small, medium or large? I'm going to go for the medium one. Medium as well, OK. Yeah. Right? She hasn't got so much of the high heels, but, you know, all Not the best. Not the same heels. Good luck, all well, right? All the same shoes. Here we go. Oh! In three. Oh. Fantastic 2.5 metres, which means that Lindsay is the biggest star in the ministry Woo! this morning! Very good. And can I also just say, you did get it higher than Stone Cold Steve Austin and also yeah. Tina O'Brien. Yeah, you did. Well, I'm congratulations like to you girls here, aren't I? You are the winner of the girls so far. Congratulations. Well, there we go. That's another cake. Yeah. Yeah. Can I just say, it does look fun and all that sort of stuff, but you must be careful. Yes, you must. Yes, you must. No, leave it. <laughs> Have a look at this. <laughs> We're Escobate. Don't mess with cakes. Don't mess with skateboards. It's, it's a, a dangerous, dangerous thing. thing.
I've got to say, we did you proud there, didn't they, the two girls? I did. Well, Lindsay did, but Emma's a bit We're proud of you girls. I think you're right, Emma was a bit poor. Now, still to come, we've got Smelling Smackdown, so make sure you join us back here in the Ministry of Mayhem. We'll see you in a few minutes. the Ministry of Mayhem. If you're like me, then you would have been watching I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. You would have been glued to the sets because it's been fantastic. And we're very lucky because we've got the update of what is all the latest stuff going on in the jungle. It's in our department of jungle. And it's banging in here. And there's no creepy crawlies. And unless you can't right doing the worm. Stephen, get out. Get out. That is the wrong type of jungle. Oh. No. No. It's still going. I'll see you tonight. Right, come on, jungle stand here. We went to the wrong room. Now, somewhere in the Australian outback, right in the deepest darks of the jungle, there are 10 celebrities who are learning what life is like on the wide side. Don't even go there, agents. Not now. I can still smell cake. Um, they're there. We've got two people that know exactly what life is like in the jungle, and um, they're experts, so we thought we'd get their opinion on it. Who is it? It's Jules and Bosley. Hey, how you doing, Hello, fellas? fellas. Hey. You OK? Right, Welcome lads. to the ministry. It's good to have you here. Yeah. Lovely Lovely to to look. Enjoying yourself? I'm really scared. I heard you I'm not to be scared. Was. Now, let me tell you, if you're not aware of all the 10 celebrities that are in the jungle in Australia, here's a quick reminder. The first up is model Jordan. She's a model and a keen horse rider. And then there is a Razor Ruddock. He's an ex-football player who has played for Liverpool and West Ham. That's Jenny Bond. She used to do the news on the Queen. Yes, that's Alex Best. She's a model, too. Then you've got Mike Reed. He's a radio DJ. And then you've got Peter Rondre. Now, he's a singer who was famous for having a belly like half a dozen eggs. She's Kerry McFadden. She's married to Brian from Westlife and used to be an atomic kitten. Yeah, he's Lord Brockett. He's a bit of a jolly posh bloke. <laughs> and that's John Lydon. He's an angry singer who likes crazy hairstyles. He does. And that is Diane Madol, and she was a famous Olympic athlete. There now, you go. Jules and Bosley, you've got to meet them. Well, we only see them on the telly. Uh, is there anyone that you'd like to get close to? Well, we really wanted to get our paws on Jordan, but uh, her bouncers got in the way. <laughs> <laughs> And talking of Jordan, she did the very first Bush Tucker trial. She was there with Razor Ruddock. They did a thing called Fill Your Face. And, oh, my God, it was such a cool Can I have a look what happened? Whoa. It's not nice, is it? Did you see the size of those things on Jordan? I tell you what, I have never seen. Insects that big before, Stephen. Keep yeah. it clean, mate. Very true, absolutely. <laughs> on Wednesday, it was Peter Andre's turn to do the Bush Tucker trial. He had a <laughs> test called Head of Horrors. It didn't start very well, including the fact he doesn't like spiders and he doesn't like snakes. It wasn't great. Have a look. Whoa. That's probably a very good idea. <laughs> now then, listen, you guys, Peter Andre, there's a bit of romance sparking between him and Jordan. What do you think about that? Again, yes. cosy. Oh, I don't think he'd ever get his mouth on that. Uh, sorry, I, I thought we were talking about Peter doing his bush tucker trial. <laughs> 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 now, I, I was going to say, as soon as we're in the jungle, don't start getting any funny ideas, Steve. No, don't you know. All these Saturday mornings. Oh, let's go back to Peter. Get him, got it. <laughs> I tell you what, life is far too short for all that, but the celebrities have had some pretty scary things to deal with, haven't they? Oh, yeah, mate. You should be out there. There's uh, all kinds of scary things in the jungle. Definitely. Well, you should know about them. I wouldn't want to go there. I want to go back to Peter. Can he get it? Go on, let's have another look. Oh, apparently, we've just been told. Apparently, oh, the singing thing. Oh, you've got to see the singing thing. Okay, oh, yeah, this mate. is where he had all of his mates, all of the celebrities around the campfire, and he created a song. Have a look at this. <laughs> now, he, he called that song Ponder. Insania, okay? Yeah. Which he mixed with uh, Mania and right. Insane to create a whole new word that actually doesn't that exist. That is clever, Peter. Genius. genius. I wonder what he did with the word. Genius. But did he get that star? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Guys, did he get the star? Uh, yeah, he got it, didn't he? Let's have I a look. I think he did. Let's have a look. Hey, Visa Andre. You've got to watch the show if you've never seen it. It's very, very good indeed. Listen, fellas, thank you so much indeed for coming in. Thank you very much. Are Bobby. you there, Amy? Are you going to join? <laughs> are you going to join? Up. Amy, are you there? <laughs> are you going to join us in the ministry? Are you going to join us in the ministry next week? Absolutely, oh, yes, mate. We'll be here. Let me thank bring you. my agent. Now, okay. listen, you better go and get ready because you've got spell later. Are you there? Spell later. See you in a minute. Shut up. See you in a bit. Now then, in about 15 minutes' time, um, CD UK is going to be here. But before we tell you about that, we've got this amazing competition to launch you. It's a trip to Australia for your whole family. Take a look. It's a beautiful country, and you could get your own jungle experience. Courtesy of the Ministry of Mayhem. And all you need to do is answer this question. It's a bit of a two-parter, so I'm giving you the first part this week and the second part next week. So the answer to this question you need to put somewhere very safely indeed. Jules, what's the question? Which of these is a real place in Australia? Is it Humpty Doo? Humpty Doot. Humpty Dumpty. 
what could it be? We need Amy, to tell are you us. there? No, not Amy, shut up with that. <laughs> Let us know. Keep that answer safe. And next week, we'll be setting the second part for you, and then you could maybe be going to Australia. But now, in 15 minutes' time, Kat Dealey's going to be here. We have CDQK, and this I is what like she's got in store for you. <laughs> Stay tuned for CD UK at 11.30 for Blazing Squad, Busted and Jamelia. Usher will be dropping by the studio for Hot Shots Review. We'll have the brand new video from Britney Spears. Plus we catch up with Westlife at a Dublin charity gig. It's going to be a great show, make sure you watch. But first of all, Stephen the Spellman Beta of Mulhern got defeated last week. Can we get that belt back? We'll just have to find out. It's spelling Smackdown. <laughs> Amy, are you there? <laughs> except after C. No! <laughs> Chelsea, can I just say, it's fantastic to see a girl finally playing. How are you feeling? Fine, I'm gonna win him. Yeah, whatever. Ooh. I don't know what happened. I know what happened last week. It was my twin brother, wasn't it? Stupid boy. Is that right? Spellmater's back now. Right, listen. No. Come on. Focus. Here are the rules. We've got three rounds. The winner of the most rounds will be crowned champion of the word. Remember, you're not playing for prizes, you're playing for pride. Yeah. And of course, the all-important spelling smackdown. Bam! <laughs> Is there anything you would like to say? Yeah, it is something for you, Chelsea. What are you putting in a dustbin? Rubbish. Rubbish, yeah, that's what your spelling is. Ch Chelsea, anything you'd like to say to Spellmanator? Magic, Morlack, tragic. <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's real good. OK, enough of the talk. Let's begin with round one. Chelsea, your first word. Meaning a person who takes part in fights that involve close grappling with their opponent. Wrestler. Go on, Chelsea. R E S T I L E R. She's wrong! Oh, yes. I can sing the belt coming back to Daddy! Yeah, right. Come on. Your first word, meaning an oriental system of unarmed combat using the hands and feet to deliver blocks and blows. Karate. Black belt. K. A. R. A. T. E. He's right! Let's move on to round two! <laughs> Come on, Chelsea. You can do this. You can do this. Come on. Your word meaning a sea animal with eight tentacles. Octopus. O C T U P U S. She's wrong! Get this word right. Which I will. The belt's coming home with you. Fact. Your word, meaning a dog-like, carnivorous African mammal. 
hyena. The smell one eighty needs silence. H. I. E. N. N. A. He's wrong! <laughs> At the end of round two, the score is still one. Nothing to the Spelmanator. Here is the final round. <laughs> right. Come on now. Come on, you have to get this, Chelsea. Come on, good vibes here. Get this word right, the pressure's back onto the Spelmanator. Your word, meaning a person who plays a musical instrument or is otherwise musically gifted. Musician. Come on, Chelsea. U-S-I-C-I-A-N. She's wrong! <laughs> Come on! Come on, Chelsea! <laughs> okay. Meaning, Spellmanator, you get this word right, you will win today's challenge. You will win it, but you have to get it right, otherwise we go into a sudden death spell. Your word. Meaning a f oh, you're in so much trouble. A form of entertainment in which people sing popular songs over backing tracks. You used to do it. Karaoke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> K-A-R. Oh. <laughs> A. K-E. He's wrong! <laughs> Meaning, after three rounds, the scores are tied. One to one. We move into a sudden death spell off. This is how it works. I've got a word. You have to spell out the word letter by letter. The first person to make a mistake will lose. Is that clear? Fact. Here we go. Your sudden death word is moustache. Oh, yeah, it's that strip of hair left to grow above the upper lip. Chelsea, I need the first letter from you. M. It's easy, isn't it? O. S. She's wrong! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> me! And it pains me to say it, it really does. Chelsea, you did valiant effort, you did a really good job, but after three rounds of sudden death spell off, the new champion of the word, winner of the championship bout, blah, blah, blah. It's the Spellmanator. Oh, yes! <laughs> Where's... Oh, Lord. Uh, I missed you last week. He's Enough. back. Enough. That's it for this week. Will the Spellmanator hang on to the belt next time? You'll have to join us then. Until then, goodbye! Chelsea now, Chelsea, come in. Listen, you didn't win, baby. You did very well. But last moment, what are you going to say to the Spellmanator? Well, Holly, being a fella girl, I'm sure you understand that we've got to let the boys win sometimes. Couldn't have said it better myself. If you want to play, here's how you can get in touch. Well done, Tails. Do you think you've got what it takes to take on the Spellmanator? Then write to us here at Spelling Smackdown. The address, Spelling Smackdown, Ministry of Mayhem, PO Box 981, ME14 5XE. Or you can email us on mom at itv.com or find the details on our website, itv.com slash CITV. Hello, hello, can you hear me now? Here we go. Uh, we're about to give away the grand prize. Now, if you've entered any of our competitions this morning and got the correct answer, your name is being fed into the Ministry Cat. Right then, Cat, come on, make this easy, come on. Just throw it straight out. Come on, give me the, come on. If you're in Belfast, it could be you. It could be you, over to you guys. Listen, if your name is Holly and you're on the line, Holly, you there? Hello, Holly? Hello. Hello, you there? Hello, how are you doing? It's the Ministry here. Holly, did you enter one of our competitions? Yes, yes, she knows. She knows, she knows already. Congratulations, Holly. You've won the grand prize. Congratulations to you, Holly. Have a fabulous weekend. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 See you later. Bye, Holly. And this is all coming up next week. Oh, no, we're going to change this song, everyone. Oh, oh my God. God. What am I talking about?
once again. You've got 15 seconds to name all 10 celebrities. Starting now. In celebrity, give me out of here. Go. Jordan. Don Lydon. Oh, Mike Reed. Ray Serrano. Diane Mahal. Website at itv.com forward slash CITV.